good. Very good. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's Friday and my 40 hours are open. I got out earlier. <sighs> Today... Terrible. Terrible. Because I was off yesterday, so everything that happened yesterday... While I wasn't there, I paid for it today. <sighs> Had to work double to leave by 10.37 a.m., which is when my 40 hours were up. Yeah. When other people don't do their job or finish their job, I pay for it the next day. I definitely don't get paid enough to do what I do. I definitely don't. Yeah. But we're here now. We're here now. And I do have a haul for today. I want to go ahead and showcase these guys and get them out of here. Yeah. Because I do have, have Natasha Denona, I have Hourglass, and I have two Sephora orders. Which those two Sephora orders are also for the parents so that's why I want to go ahead and film this so I can go ahead and put it in their box and finally ship out that box for now that's that's the last thing that and I have to find ghost pepper yeah ghost pepper that's pretty much it took out some money from the bank today so I can put that for dad yeah and that's pretty much it so I can go ahead and have that shipped out I think the last time I shipped it out was it about a month? Four weeks? Five weeks? To get over there? Yeah. So I want to go ahead and ship that out so she can go ahead and enjoy some of the fall decor that I added in there and actually put that. Yeah. Yeah. Just open this guy up. Dragon Ball Z energy drink, warrior power, and we're low battery. I just need something cold. So we have that, and I tried out today because yesterday I did the unboxing of my Boxy Charm, Allure, and my Ipsies. So I used this guy today, which came in my Boxy Charm, the Ace Beauty Violet Sage palette I use that on the eyes and then I had also received the Wonder Beauty on the Glow Blush and Illuminator in Bare yeah these are nice really really nice the highlight don't love it quite as much as the one in the Natasha Natasha Denona one but it's nice and then this guy Wow, I've never had such an easy blend. Such an easy blend with this guy. Yeah. The only thing I will complain about is I wish there was a shimmery green. Shimmery green, because I feel like there's two pinks in here. Two pink shimmers. This one is a little bit out of place, so it's the only shimmers I have to work with. Wish there was a green shimmer. The only thing. So, hi guys, welcome back. If you're new, hi, my name is Maria Jose. Not Maria, not Maria Jose. Maria Jose, one word. And let's go ahead and jump into the video. Alrighty, so jumping in. Um, let's start, let's do Sephora. Go ahead and do Sephora so I can go ahead and add that. So if in case I don't finish this video today, at least I already filmed that portion, I can go ahead and add that. Alright. So I guess this is a high-end haul. Yeah. A high-end haul because we have Hourglass, Natasha, Joe Malone, Sephora favorites. It's high-end. Alright. So the first Sephora order. I have this guy right here. I placed this one for my mother. 
Alright, baby. So, oh yeah, they didn't add it. What was it? They didn't add my free with order. Because I got these samples. I forgot what it was. So let me go ahead and check my Sephora orders. But for the samples, I did get the Freck Beauty Cheek Slime Lip Plus Cheek Tint with Plant Collagen. I have these shades Cuffed and Fielding. No. Cuffed and Fielding. So those would be those two. Yeah, I guess I can... I mean, cream blush, you can use it on the lips. I'll go ahead and try that out. And then also the Dior Addict, the Rouge. The Rouge. Yeah, little lipstick samples with the brush. Got that. And then the reason for this order would be this guy, which oh yeah, I already taped up. I already taped up, so this is from Joe Malone. And this is the Fig Lotus and Flower Eau de Parfum. So this would be the one ounce. So a one ounce would come in the smaller box. Yeah, I saw these size and that would be a nice size. And I have a smaller version of the Peony and Blush Suede, which is my favorite. But this one is Mother's Favorite. Which I think this scent is the only one that still hasn't raised its prices. Still at $75. This one is $75. Joe Malone London Fig and Lotus Flower. Because everything else went up. Except for this one. So I wanted to take advantage before it went up. And I bought this for her. It's a cute little box. So yeah, I can go ahead and add that. But there was a free with order and I didn't get it. 9-14, September 14. Oh, now I remember. Now I remember. Because I placed this order, wanted to take advantage, it was the last day to, yeah, I got 500 points. An extra 500 points. Mm, all right. So that is why. That is why. So I got that. Yeah. $75. Because the other ones of one ounce are now $80. So the other package, unnecessarily large. I've never received a Sephora box this size. And look at all that wasted space. Large for no reason. So I think it's this one that I didn't get my free with purchase. We're back with the fresh batter because I was cut off and I didn't know. So I don't know where, where I was cut off. But I was talking about this guy which was unnecessarily big. A lot of wasted space. And yeah, this is the one that didn't include the free with purchase. So for the two samples, I got the same thing from Freck, because honestly there was nothing else. And the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer, because again, there was nothing else. And then they were supposed to give me Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation Trial Size in shade 4N. So it should have been like three, looks like three little packets like this. I wanted to try that. Yeah. So this would be the Sephora Favorites Cologne Sampler. Got this, which I'm surprised still hasn't sold out because finally Tom Ford. Tom Ford is included in this, which it never is. And it's Tom Ford Ombre Leather. So this guy retails for $72. You get a bunch of little minis, which you can redeem a full size at no extra cost. So it says try 12 samples. So it has Dolce & Gabbana light blue. So this is all mints, fragrances. 
Giorgio Armani Aqua Dijon, Gucci Guilty, Eau de Toilette, Mason Margiela Replica, Jazz Club. Mm. I want to smell that one. Paco Roban. Is it Roban? Paco Roban Invictus Platinum, which Hubby previously, yeah, he did in those previous kits. I don't think it was this one. I think it was the blue one from Invictus, the original. Paco Roban Phantom, Prada Luna Rosa Ocean, Tom Ford Ombre Leather, Valentino Woma, Womo, Born in Roma, Versace Dylan Blue, Victor and Roth Spice Bomb, Infrared, and YSL Y. Which he already owns because I gifted that to him. And for this one, this would be Redeem Redemption Size 1.7 Fluid Ounce of the Tom Ford. Which is $150. $150. So I think the best value would be the Tom Ford. Out of everything, because that would be the one that's the most expensive. So the best bang for your buck would be the Tom Ford. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take out the plastic in there so this won't be as square and bulky. Have to go ahead and redeem that. I already took the coupon now. So it comes like that. Yeah. All those little samples. I'm gonna go ahead and take all of those out to put them in there. So it won't be as bulky. So definitely the best bang for your buck. Much better. So that would be it for Sephora. So now I'm going to go ahead and move on to Hourglass and Natasha. I just smelled the interior because I smelled, I was getting a whiff of a fishy smell smelling the exterior I smell the interior fish fish so it has that nasty smell made in China so I remember I purchased a fake YSL bag and it had that same fishy smell I don't know what it is that they do to these materials or what materials they use that has that fishy smell. Remember in BoxyCharm, I also received a makeup bag that had a fishy smell. I'm going to see if I leave that out and air it out because that is terrible. So the next one would be FedEx, Natasha Denona. So for this one, I did pre-order my dream collection. I has the date here. September 8. Invoice September 8. And it took like a week for her to ship it out. Then it came out in Sephora. I could have waited for Sephora and I would have had it even earlier. Yeah, so I did get my dream palette midi. Got the midi, which is now $69. Her midi palette is no longer $65. And then my dream cheek trio palette, like this, for forty-eight dollars. So one hundred and seventeen for both. I think it charged taxes. So we have that, which that's empty. So I do have right here because I have been using this. I did do a video on this. I did three looks. I did three looks, which the last look, was it yesterday? Day before. No, it was yesterday. Yeah. So this would be the My Dream palette, which I use every single shade. So I did a very warm burgundy look, I did a very cool tone look, and then I did an everyday look yesterday 
thinking kind of look I would have done if this had arrived in time before I left to Orlando and what look I would have done. Yeah. So you have that. Which, I like this. I really did like this. Love how the mattes blended. The only one I had a little bit of trouble with was Invention. That guy right there. That one's a little bit chunkier, did create some fallout, and without glitter glue, it didn't really... There was no pigment. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> yeah. But I really, really did enjoy this. Really nice. Use that black as a shadow liner. Then this would be the My Dream Cheek Trio blush and highlighter. So you get a cream blush, cream highlight, and a powder highlight. Which I didn't think this would be come a favorite. I've been really, really enjoying this. So the cream blush, it's like creamy matte. Like a creamy matte and like a mauvey neutral which I loved I loved and then the glow cream base which is very creamy balmy which I'm not into those kind of highlights I definitely love powder but this one has changed my mind because yesterday I applied only that one not the powder on top and I actually really liked it, so this one has changed my mind on cream highlights. And then the powder highlight. I would use that one on top of the cream, which I did like. I really liked that combo. So I've been enjoying this one a lot way more than the palettes which I didn't think that was possible and this lasts all day it lasted all day on my cheeks which yeah I tried it working 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 sweating running running around and my cheeks were still flush of color yeah so I've been really really enjoying this just took a really long time to get to me and a long time for me to review it <laughs> and then the last package would be from hourglass I've been waiting and waiting on this one to go ahead and showcase it so I did get this sample with my purchase the hourglass vanish airbrush concealer which has four shades. Is it creme, silk, sepia, and sienna? So if I had a dark skin tone, which I purchased the darkest one, this wouldn't work for me. And yes, I got this one. I got the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Tiger. I know Hourglass is notorious for not being inclusive, <laughs> but finally, I think with this, they're getting it right. They're finally getting it right. So, this would be the tin packaging. Last year was also tin. So beautiful, so beautiful. When I saw this being sneaked peeked, I fell in love with this one from the three. Definitely, I love the outer packaging, tigers, it's blue, I love blue, and fell in love with the interior. Mainly because of that orange. 
that orange, which is a new shade. I know this is the palette that had the most new shades. So that number three, Blush Burnished Glow. I... Yeah, definitely excited for this one. I know this first one is a finishing powder. But I've seen others use it as a bronzer, and I can definitely use that as a bronzer. Which is the finishing powder, Transcendent Light. Yeah. And then a darker highlight there I can use as a blush topper. Number five, Metallic Strobe Powder, Copper Flash Strobe Light. So let me go ahead, take a few pictures, and then come back with some swatches. Because this is the one I still haven't dipped my fingers into. So I just finished swatching this. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I love that richness. Yeah. From the three, this one was definitely the most interesting one. The best option. Really, really, really pretty. Yeah. I like it. I like it. I like it. So I will say I have seen some people try the that orangey blush and I do have to be careful. Yeah. I do have to be careful. So let's see the first shade which is the one I'll use as a bronzer, would be the Finishing Powder, Transcendent Light. And the second shade is Metallic Strobe Powder, Brilliant Glow Strobe Light. So kind of like a natural highlight. Then underneath, Blush Burnish Glow will be my favorite. Below that, Metallic Strobe Powder, Divine Strobe Light. So a little bit more blinding highlight, but still more natural side. And then Metallic Strobe Powder, Copper Flash Strobe Light, like a blush topper for me, and then blush, Iridescent Rose. So a more pinky one. And I feel like this definitely has everything. A pinky blush, an orangey blush, a bronzer, a more natural highlight, a little bit more blinding highlight and a blush topper. Perfect! It has everything I need. So I will have to try that out, see how that blush topper works on me. But definitely looks promising. Definitely it looks promising. Yeah, the only thing I will say it's a little bit harder to open and Apparently this one doesn't doesn't stay open like the previous years. This guy was how much was this guy? Eighty. Wondering if these guys went up in price. I think it was eighty dollars. Yeah. But I'm excited to play with this one. I guess I'll play with this one tomorrow <laughs> before getting ready for work. Yeah, or getting ready for work. I love it. Definitely love that. Can't wait to try it. <sighs> excited. So that's everything. It's everything for my high-end haul. Yeah, so I think next up I have here a Halloween haul. <laughs> A little bit of a Halloween haul, yeah. Because a lot of those items are Halloween related. So first time doing one of those. One of those type of videos. Should be a good one. But that would be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.